Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. I'm Daniel Chang. Today we are going to talk about glowing effect. So if you guys have been following me on social media, then you probably noticed I have been shooting a lot of reels on Instagram and TikTok recently. And I actually got a lot of requests from people to ask me about how I achieved the soft creamy look and glowing effect in the reels I shot to make my video look more cinematic. So in today's video, not only I'm going to share with you guys few ways to achieve the same look and glowing effect for my video, but also I'm going to explain the concept behind it to let you guys understand when and why you should use it. So that when you are shooting your own project, you can choose the right tools and make the right decision for your shot in different shooting and editing scenario. So let's talk about what actually is glowing effect and why people like to use it so much. So nowadays, digital camera can shoot 4K, 6K, or even 12K cameras already on the market. And the footage that comes out from those high resolution camera will make our video look really sharp and crispy. So in order to make our digital footage to get that soft cinematic look, the people who are in the film industry created a few ways to achieve it. For example, like the diffusion filter that you can put in front of the lens or the glowing or bloom effect that you can add to your footage in the editing software. Despite there are some difference between using the diffusion filter while you are shooting and add glowing effect in the post. But overall, both these ways can achieve one particular thing for the footage we shoot, which is to recover our highlight and give it the soft bloom and glow effect in the highlight portion of our video. Compared to these three footage we show here for the example, you can tell the highlight portion of our raw footage compared to the other two looks really sharp and harsh, and the other two looks more soft and cinematic. So that's why nowadays no matter it's a short film, a commercial, or even a reels, a lot of people like to use this technique to make their video look more like film and have that cinematic look in their video. Now, after you understand the concept behind the glowing effect, the next thing we are going to talk about is how we can achieve the glowing effect in the real world shooting and also in the post. And here I summarize three ways to achieve the glowing effect for a different group of people. And depending on the equipment you guys have, then you guys can choose the way that fit your situation the most to achieve the glowing effect. So even you only use the cell phone to shoot and add in your video, then you can still achieve the similar effect I did for my video. So the first way you can achieve the glowing effect is diffusion filter. Now there are tons of the diffusion filter on the market, but the one I love to use the most is the Tiffin One Flow Bad Bormis filter, which this filter in my opinion is the one that can give me the most cinematic and soft look that I'm looking for and I use it for almost 70% of my work. I'm using the One Force Trend Pore Mist Filter, but this filter actually arranged all the way up to two, three, four, I think even five. And depends on how soft you want your image and light to be, you can choose different strand or filter you want. And the most common strand for people to use is One Four and One A. Now, to use this Pore Mist Filter, not only you can get the soft look and glowing highlights for your footage, but it can also smooth our skin and make our wrinkles and blemish look more unnoticeable. On top of that, despite Formis filter solves the whole image for your video, but you will still keep the detail of your footage but not make everything in your video look really blurry. So that's why this Formis filter is really popular to use in both film and fashion industry. And compared to the video I shot with and without the filter, you can tell the one with Promise filter have glowing effect in the highlight portion and my skin looks more soft and smooth with the filter on, compared with the footage that without the filter. Now, like I mentioned earlier, even I use the Promise filter 70% of my work, but there are still 30% of the time I would not consider to use it. And here are a few things that you should keep in mind to consider that whether you want to use Promise filter or not. First, ask your client before you use it. So if you are like me, mostly shoot a commercial work for living, then get approval from your client to use Pormis filter to have this soft look is really important. Because once you put a Pormis filter in front of your lens, then all the footage you get will have that soft and glowing look. And even you can add a glowing effect while you are in a pose, but there's no way you can make your footage go back to what it original looks like uh, once you use the Pormis filter. So if after the shoot, your client son suddenly tell you he doesn't like the soft look and want to remove it, then seriously guys, you are done. 
So remember, always get the approval to use the promise filter or any other filter when there is someone making the final decision for the video you made. Second, if you are shooting in a really fucking environment, then normally I would not consider to use it. Because as you know, once you are in the fucking environment, things become really blurry and soft for the subject we are shooting. And if right now you put the diffusion filter in front of your lens and add more soft in your image, then things will become too soft and blurry and you barely see your subject's face. And there is also no way to fix it in a post. Now move on to the second way to add the glowing effect in our footage, which is to use the going effect in our editing software. And here I use DaVance Resolve as my editing software. And if you don't have it in your computer or laptop, then you can go to the Blackmagic Design website to download the free version of it. I will put the links down below in case you, if you guys need it. So here as you guys can see, I have the footage that already finished color grading and put it on my timeline. And now what I'm going to do is go to my color grading page and go to a fat and type glow. Then when I check the fat on my node, then you can see the highlight portion of my clip already have that glowing effect. And you can use the control panel to adjust how you want the glow to look like. For example, like how wide you want your glow to spread or how bright you want it to be. Now, once you see this, you might want to ask me a question. Daniel, if adding a fat in the post is so convenient, then why do we even need to spend our money to buy a diffusion filter? Well, the reason is because when you use the diffusion filter, you make your whole image become softer. It can smooth your skin and give you that glow effect for your highlight. But when you use the glowing effect in the DaVance Resolve, instead of softening the whole image, it will just only give you the glowing effect for your highlight but not the whole image. Image. So next time when you're trying to achieve this glowing look, you should consider whether you want your whole video to have this soft look and glowing effect or not. And if the answer is yes, then the diffusion filter is the choice for you to go. But if you only want that glowing effect for your highlight but you don't want that soft look for your whole video, then use glowing effect in the post is your go-to. Now move on to the last way you can achieve the glowing effect for your video, which is to use app called CapCut. This app is free to download for everyone on the app store. So I recommend for the people who mostly use their phone to shoot and edit their video to use this app to add a glowing effect for their video. Now, as you can see on my phone screen, I already import my video inside the CapCut. And what you only need to do now is to click effect and click video effect, then go to basic and find the effect called Edge Glow. And once you click it, you can see the glowing effect already pop up on your video. And now you can go to the adjustment panel to adjust how strong you want your glow to be. And once you finish the adjustment and you go back to the timeline page to make sure your whole video all have this glowing effect for your video, then you are good to go. Of course, compared to the glowing effect that we use in DaVinci Resolve, the edge glow effect in CapCut don't have a lot of options to adjust how we want our glow to look like. But if you don't have DaVinci Resolve or you don't want to spend money on the diffusion filter, then I think using CapCut is still a good and easy way to achieve the glowing effect for your video. And here you have it. I hope after this video you have more clear concept about the glowing effect and knowing the ways to achieve it and what things need to be cautious while using them. So I hope you guys enjoy the video today and maybe can take something away from it. And if you guys like this video, please don't hesitate to click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I really want to hear from you guys' experience from working with the diffusion filter and glowing effect for your shot. So please feel free to tell me what you think and comment down below. I will try to reply to it as soon as possible. So it's a wrap for today's video. I'm Daniel Chang. I will see you guys next week. Peace.